Hi, I'm Larry Skews, and uh, we're doing a um, segment for the Campus Movie Fest people for the uh, creative activism. And this is going to be about my experience with Wilshire Montana Coalition here in Santa Monica, California, and my experience with them as far as uh, a problem that we had with my opposition to Proposition T. There were many of us that uh, felt that although they, they meant well as far as uh, theoretically, but we felt there were some unintended consequences to the proposition. And this is what happened with me. Um, my group, the board of directors of a neighborhood group here, uh, voted to support this proposition when I wasn't there. And I came back, and in the interim time, I uh, some people who opposed it came to me to put my name down for uh, being opposed to this proposition. So I gave it to them, and they put it on a list. And then later on, I came to a meeting of the group, and they um, voted after the fact to uh, to make it either difficult or where, where, where members of the group could not endorse a candidate or a proposition. And then after the fact, they found out, they brought up that they saw my name on this list. And they said they thought that it uh, looked bad because it made, made it look like they, that I was against it connected to their group. And uh, I didn't see it that way. And then after they made the, the vote, they voted to have me kicked off and took my vote away. And I think this is an uh, example I've talked to some other uh, people in the press of uh, how divisive it is. This is very divisive. This, this issue in Santa Monica, to give you a little history, is one of the most divisive since two of the Democratic groups split back when they first had rent control, way back. And this is a very divisive issue, and uh, I one of the reasons that I was opposed to it is there was a lot of other high-profile people that were also opposed to it. For instance, Sheila Kuehl, who's our state senator, she opposed it. Uh, people, uh, members of the Santa Monica City Council opposed it. Many health groups uh, opposed it, and many other groups opposed it. And. Uh, I felt that, uh, as we've many of them felt, that there were many uh, unintended consequences. Let me give you a list right here. Here's the people with, that were with me. Santa Monica Police Officers Association, no on T. Santa Monica Firefighters, no on T. SMMCTA, Santa Monica Malibu Classroom Teachers Association, no on T. Coalition of Santa Monica City Employees, no on T. Sustainable City Task Force, no on T. CEPS, Community for Excellent Public Services, no on T. But it's an example where many of these people who were, I'm not naming any names, many of these two people who took power by stating that they were dissenters, which they were, now they, they have, even one of them, mentioned to me that now they're the, we used to say, well, we're against establishment, anti-establishment. Well, now they're the establishment. And it goes to show how some of them, in my opinion, uh, how power corrupts and absolutely power, absolute power corrupts, absolutely. One other thing I forgot to bring in there. Uh, this is 
a local issue in Buckminster Fuller stated that you should think globally and act locally. And that's a very, and uh, Buckminster Fuller is a, a really iconic, legendary architect. Yeah, all right. So you know, we my my people were uh, really, I think, uh, really validated since it was defeated. <laughs>